Hey, this is lesson 14.2, which is found on page 634 in your textbook. Lesson 14.1 was talking about square roots, but 14.2 is talking about cubed roots. <clears throat> a cube root of a number is a number that, when multiplied by itself and then multiplied by itself again, equals the given number. So um, that would be the number itself to the third power. A perfect cube is a number that can be written as a cube, as the cube of an integer. The symbol, so it looks like the square root symbol, except it's got a little three up here. We didn't have to put a little two up there for square root because it's the normal, so we just leave the two out. But when we want cubed root, we do put a three up there. And so that radical symbol with the little three up there is used to represent a cube root. Let's find some. Finding the cube roots. The cube root of 8, because 2 to the third power equals 8, then the cube root of 8 is 2. Because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Obviously, 2 to the third power is not 6, because we don't multiply those together. That's so 6th grade. We don't do that. <clears throat> Here, the cubed root of negative 27. Now, we never had the square root of a negative number because nothing times itself. There is no real number when multiplied by itself that will give you a negative number because the negative times a negative is a positive. But we, if we multiply it by itself three times, then we can get to a negative number. So the cubed root of negative 27 is negative 3 because negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 and positive 9 times this negative 3 again is negative 27. So negative 3 cubed, or to the third power, is negative 27. We can do the um, fractions. Um, it's the cubed root of 1 64th. Well, the cubed root of 1 is 1, because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, in case you didn't know that. The cubed root of tw uh, 64 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So one-fourth to the third power, or one-fourth times one-fourth times one-fourth, equals one-sixty-fourth. Therefore, the cubed root of one-sixty-fourth is one-fourth. Changing a number, cubing a number, and finding a cube root are inverse operations. You can use this relationship to evaluate expressions and solve equations involving cubes. Here we go, evaluate each expression. So the first thing we have to do when evaluating this expression, this is two um, times the cubed root of negative 216 minus three. Well, six times six is 36, and 36 times six is 216. Negative 216 would be negative 6 times negative 6 times negative 6. So this becomes 2 times negative 6 minus 3. Multiply first. Negative 12 minus 3, negative 15. On this one, a little easier because we have the cubed root of 125, which actually is 5, but then we just cube it. So 5 cubed is going to get us back to this 125. So the cubed root and then cubed, they're inverse operations. So we just end up back with 125 plus 21, which is 146. Here's some to do on our own. And number one, the cubed root of 1 is 1, because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, number 2. The cubed root of negative 343. Well, we know the answer is going to be negative. And now what times itself is 343? Well, 7 times 7 is 49 times 7 is 343. So this would be negative 7. Number 2. I mean number 3. The cubed root 
of negative 27 over 1,000. Well, we know it's going to be negative again because it's negative in here. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27, so it'll be a 3 on the top. And 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 again is 1,000, so negative 3 tenths. Number 4. Now we have to evaluate the expression. So we have 18 minus 4 times the cubed root of 8. Well, we know the cubed root of 8 is 2, so this becomes 18 minus 4 times 2 which is 18 minus 8, which is 10. Number 5, in parentheses, the cubed root of negative 64. Then we're going to cube it, plus 43. Well, because these are inverse operations, we know we just end back up with negative 64 plus 43, and that equals negative 21. And finally, number six, five times the cubed root of 512 minus 19. So what times itself, then times itself again, gives us 512, 5 twelfths. Eight, eight times eight is 64, times eight is 512. So this would be five times eight minus 19, 40 minus 19 equals 21. And lastly, they want us to evaluate an algebraic expression. So uh, evaluate x over 4 plus the cubed root of x over 3, and then they tell us x is 192. So first thing we do is we substitute in, and now we get, instead of x over 4, we get 192 over 4 plus the cubed root of 192 over 3. Well, let's simplify this. Um, 4 goes into 192, what would that be? 38 goes in, no, no, no. 4, 48 plus 192 divided by 3. Let's simplify that first. 3 goes into 192, 5, 6 times. So this would be the cubed root of 60 with one left over 64. So 84 plus the cubed root of 64. So what times itself, times itself again, gives us 64. And we've already found out that that is 4. So this now becomes 48 plus 4, which is 52. And it is 52. So now let's do a couple on our own. Without the book here, we have the cubed root of 8 times, and now they tell us eight, um, y is 64, so I'll just put that in here, so 64 plus 64. So now I could multiply these together and find its cubed root, or I can find the cubed root of each of these things. I know the cubed root of 8 is 2, so this would be 2 times and the cubed root of 64, we just found out, is 4. 4. So the cubed root of 8 is 2, and the cubed root of 64 is 4. Multiply those two together and get 8 plus this 64 to get 72. So the cubed root of 8 times 64 is the same as the cubed root of 8 times the cubed root of 64. We could have multiplied 8 and 64 together to get 480 plus 32, 4, 5, 12. And the cubed root of 5, 12 would have been 8. Okay? So we could have done that or take the cubed root of each thing inside. So that was number 7. Number 8 we'll do right here. And it is 2b minus the cubed root of 9b b equals negative 3. So this is 2 times negative 3 minus the cubed root of 9 times negative 3. Well, let's work inside this grouping symbol first, and that would be now the cubed root of negative 27. The cubed root of negative 27 is negative 3. 
So now I have 2 times negative 3 minus negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Minus a negative 3 is the same as plus 3. And that will give us negative 3 for number 8. Well, now you can head on over to your the other video, which is our um, journal page 332 um, for lesson 14.2.